And it looks like those officials in Perry, Iowa, are getting ready to give an update now on that shooting again. So far, they have told us one person is dead okay. at this shooting in Perry, Iowa. Very few details released other than that so far. Let's listen into what My police name is are Sheriff saying now. Adam Infante, I N F A N T E. I'm the sheriff here in Dallas County. I'm joined by our state, local, and federal partners here at the Perry High School. Uh, this morning at approximately 7.37 a.m., we had a Sears radio activation at the high school, which indicated an active shooter situation. Uh, an officer first arrived within seven minutes of that activation uh, and located multiple gunshot victims. Uh, we're still unclear of exactly how many are injured uh, or what the extent of those are, but we're working on that right now. There is no further danger to the public. The community is safe. Uh, we're just now working backwards, trying to figure out everything that happened and make notifications. Um, there'll be another update later on today. Uh, we're, it's still very early. This happened at approximately 7.37 this morning. School didn't start yet, luckily, uh, so there was very few students and faculty in the building, uh, which I think contributed to uh, a good outcome in that sense. But we'll have more information later on this afternoon. We will not be releasing any more information in the meantime. Uh, so please be patient with us so that we can talk with these victims and their families and try and figure out what happened. We won't be answering any questions today either or right now. Uh, we'll let you know later on this afternoon, uh, afternoon, what time we'll be meeting back with you again and we hope to provide more detail then. So can we, just, just to be clear, you don't have a number of people who were injured in this? Season? We're still working on that. Have you identified the shooter? Yes. What's their current status? Are they alive or? Oh, we'll get to that later on this afternoon. Can you confirm if the shooter was a student at the school? I can't confirm that right now. Can you confirm any, any deaths? Is there no, a reunification right center for families and students right now? Great point. Uh, the reunification center has already been established. Uh, and at most of those, I think all the kids have been reunified already. Uh, so we're good in that in that area. Thank you. Are there any faculty members that were hurt? I can't answer that question yet. Have you made any apprehensions or arrests? Can't answer that question yet either. We'll take no further questions at this yeah. time. We'll Wait, see you this afternoon. Sir, sorry, just want to make sure. I will let you know. Okay. I, I we don't know. Iowa Department of Public Safety will push out a, a message as far as location and time of the next press conference. Okay. So if you go to the Iowa Department of Public Safety website, it'll be posted there probably shortly within, afternoon. Any shortly after noon. I'm sorry. Any surveillance video available? There's nothing more that we're going to yeah, be able to you. answer right now. We'll thank be you. Back. That was Dallas County Sheriff Infante giving an update on a shooting at a high school in Perry, Iowa. Previously, officials had said one person was killed in that shooting. We did not hear the sheriff confirm that, but he did confirm multiple gunshot victims. He says the shooting happened at 737 or around 737 in the morning. That is when the radio signal came in signifying an active shooter. Seven minutes later, an officer arrived at the scene finding multiple gunshot victims. They still are not reporting the number of people injured, saying they don't know yet, but they do say that this happened before school was in session, so fewer students and teachers in the building than would have been a little later in the day. Uh, and police are now stressing that there is no future danger to the public, but would not reveal if the shooter uh, is alive or dead or has been taken into custody. They do say they ID'd the shooter, but have not revealed what that identity is. I want to go over to our Alex Perche, who's there in Perry, Iowa. Uh, Perry, police are still playing this very close to the vest. Alex. Yes, they, they absolutely are. Actually, they said that uh, they weren't going to take any questions. They got questions anyway, but we didn't learn uh, too much from them. I particularly asked them, you know, had they made any any arrests or apprehensions? You know, it might give an indication as to the status of uh, any suspect in this shooting. Uh, they did not answer that, but we are expecting another update and also a press release uh, later on uh, today. You're, what you're seeing right now is uh, uh, behind me. It looks like a, a, a random journalist who's... Uh, 
trying to get questions answered from the state troopers. But obviously, I mean, they've already said that they're not going to be taking any more questions. But uh, Dallas County Sheriff Adam Infante, he did say that this uh, they got what they called a, a Sears radio activation around 737 this morning. That's just before class has started. And, and also, Diane, mind you, this is the first day back from winter break for these students. Uh, they said that officers were on a scene in about seven minutes. Uh, and as soon as they entered uh, the building, Building, they uh, saw in uh, multiple gunshot victims. He doesn't know how many people uh, were, were, were injured, uh, but uh, but they do say that there is no further danger to the public. And I, I, I got a chance to talk to a stepmom of a couple of the students here. Uh, one of her kids was hit twice uh, in the back and, and on the arm. He thankfully is okay. Uh, she says her other son actually knew this, uh, this alleged shooter in some capacity that he had classes with him. Uh, this is a very tight knit community here in Perry, Iowa. There's some uh, roughly uh, 570 students at this high school is our understanding. So it, it's 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 not it's not unfathomable that that a lot of these students would actually know uh, either victims or or this alleged uh, shooter as we learn more details. But uh, you can imagine uh, the drop in her heart hearing the news that her kids were involved, uh, but also that relief uh, learning that they were ultimately okay. And I want to bring in uh, our former NYPD chief of detectives, ABC News contributor Robert Boyce as well. Robert, do you find it unusual that they are saying that they did, that they have identified the shooter, but aren't releasing that identity yet? No, I, that's not unusual at all because you have to go down, talk to his parents, go to his house. There's a lot of work here. Social media, as I described before, some good reporting by Alex, who tells us that um, it's probably a student uh, from what he's been able to determine from his from his interview. So that's what we're looking at right now. Um, so he's not reporting enough to sheriff. And I, I understand that they don't want to mis misstate something. So right now it's still active. You're still talking to parents. You're still talking to friends, social media, things of that to determine exactly why this person would do that. Again, it's important to note that it's before school. So that helped probably save lives. And that's 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 a good thing for this morning. Uh, Brad, what do you make of that timing for a, a shooter to come into a school and open fire, um, but to arrive there before school was fully in session? Well, it might suggest that he knew he was who he was going to shoot, that this was not a I'm just going to go into school and shoot anybody. I don't really care to a targeted individual or group that he chose to 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 shoot. Uh, I mean, that would make the most sense. Did he walk into school after making the decision he was going to do this and and sort of felt like he could pull it off at that moment? So he did it at that moment. But it does suggest a little bit in my mind that it might be that he was going after particular kids. It'll be interesting to see because this is a rural community. Uh, I've lived in rural communities. You ride a bus to school. Did he even ride to school on a bus with the people he ended up shooting? We'll have to see. But, um, you know, these small communities, as I mentioned previously, the, everyone knows everyone else, including in law enforcement, by the way. And that's why you get this great response, because they're used to being called to scenes that maybe in a big city you wouldn't get called because the departments, et cetera, can handle it. A rural sheriff in the middle of nowhere needs the FBI, ATF, and fill in the blank law enforcement to come running when something happens, and that's clearly what happened today. All right, so again, just a, a recap for anyone just joining us. We're following this breaking news out of Perry, Iowa, of a school shooting at a high school there. Uh, the officials uh, have said that one person was killed in the shooting. We did not hear that confirmed in the press conference they just held, but we did just hear from the sheriff that the shooting happened around 7.37 in the morning before school was fully in session and that the first officer on the scene encountered multiple gunshot victims, but it's still not clear how many people were injured here. Uh, the shooter has been ID but they are not yet revealing that identity and they stress there's no future danger to the public. We will have continuing updates on this story throughout the day here on ABC News Live, so keep it right here. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.